What happened to in you? the car. Sorry? In the car. In the car. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Mm. Okay, let's go. Will I reply some message first? Hello, Rolling, are you ready? Let's go. This is our last month homework. Thanks to Hazel Luoling, we all have handed the homework now. So uh, let's read. Uh, I think the next time when you take the camera uh, a bit, um, I don't know. Uh, maybe you can do it in this way, this way down direct. Because if you will do this way diagonal, it might not be able to capture too well. So it's directly 90 degrees down, that would be better, okay? Okay. Okay, let's read. Question one. Sports and games are equally important as studies. Do you agree? I agree. Sports and games train our flexibility and strength. It can oh, also... Ah, uh, uh, these trains are... Our... Our, huh? Yeah. Oh my God, seriously, I can't read now. Mm. I think I, I make it another bigger a bit. Because I, I, I spent until 200, I still can't see those. So sorry. So I think rolling is best that you write a bit bigger. I mean, it's nothing wrong with your handwriting. It's very neat, definitely. And then the G, uh, I'm very OCD. Uh, the G uh, should be, you know, as in Doma, uh, since we, I'm pausing here. So everyone listen. Nothing wrong with those of you who are writing G like that, but it's, it would be good if you can do this. Uh. Okay, and then this, somewhere here on this line, okay? Not the G as in you, you write the G here. Okay, I don't know. Um, whether the, the British people who's marking the paper will like it or not. But sometimes, they, most of the time so far, they might ignore it. Lah. So I'm just a bit um, particular, right? Carry on. I agree sports and games train our flexibility and strength. Very good. Good start. That is creating the atmosphere using AIMS. And let's go. It, what is the it, lah, brother? <laughs> what is the sports and games. Uh, then you say sports and game can also, it sounds like, Uncle, are you sure or not? So every sentence must work sports and games, sports and games, sports and games. It is nothing wrong to put it rolling, but I told you already, because some teachers might be very particular. Uh, Sing and if you know right, that time if you were to hear my set for SSI, the one teacher was telling them, both sources, they, some teacher will be very stuck out, or not say stuck out, lah, will be very purposely, sorry, I wish sauce. Isn't it you are telling me source A and B? That's why I say both sources, ma. Say sorry, you must ATQ. Answer the questions. So if they say the, the government, which government? Uh, isn't it you're talking about Singapore government? Hello, how do I know? Maybe you are referring to Malaysian governments, Indonesian government. But, so you must be very specific. Sounds academically speaking, it's nothing wrong. If you watch the TikTok CEO who talked to the congressman, he is also very particular and precise and calm and mention the correct pronouns and not sorry, not pronouns, the proper nouns and the right nouns. Okay, so it's very important. And let's say sports and games are important, flexibility and strength. Uh, okay, comma, if you comma it, it can also help. Uh, then you put young, really, me by my. But in when it's full sit talk, <laughs> so the full sit talk means just saying another sentence. But if you were to comma it, that means you say, hello, excuse me, I'm telling you the sentence is still joining. Uh, Okay, uh, synthesis, constructions. So you see the full stop, you don't look at the punctuation mark, it's like nobody business, but it's very important, okay? Thank you, let's go. Sports and, um, <coughs> excuse me. <coughs> Sorry, uh, sports and games are, oh, can also. Sports and game can also help us to release stress during tough times. However, despite all this, we shouldn't totally prioritize sports and games. Our main focus in school right now is to get good education for our future. Definitely, sports and games can help the well-being of the underprivileged kids by donating money to them for basic needs. Sports programs can reduce poverty by promoting health, education, and diplomacy in developing countries. The foundation for global sports development creates and supports numerous programs around the world to uplift 
to uplift children through sports. Sports and games are as much boon and bane. Playing, playing extreme sports is dangerous as we could seriously hurt ourselves. Stop. 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 Stop uh. So you realize when you read this on sports and games, sports and games, you know the flow is very good, sports and games. So people, oh, you know, you are getting the, press, the, the group of people to walk through with your essay. A flow. Like for example, um, if you are the CEO, uh, the first thing you go into a multi-story building, uh, so the receptionist uh, boss, uh, this is a room uh, that will do this, this is a room. Then you ask, uh, sorry, what room is this? What is that room? Uh, or oh, that room is toilet. <laughs> you get what I mean? Uh? You're like, huh? Okay, so uh, this room is for meeting of the 200 packs. Over that room, there is uh, the corner is this. You see, so it must be very precise. Okay, okay uh, correct me if I'm wrong. Those highlighted with a, a pink highlighter is using the magic words, right? Yeah. yeah. Ah, okay. So you realize it's very good now huh, to use it. Huh? So those you have usually take it now. Huh? Okay. So yeah, I really take it in mind. Yes, good. So now you by by the way, oh how she is coming in. Okay. By the way, it is good that uh, you 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 can start, even though you have take ready, if you want to use that the same words again, continue. You can use 10 over time, 20 times is fine. Okay, let's go. Similarly, we could be late for class since we were too distracted playing sports and games during free play at recess. Uh, I depends. Uh, I put that depends. Uh, because mm -hmm. yes, as a disciplined teacher, I do have students play until they forget to come back you know, during recess time and then they do you know, chase. It's okay, Haoshin. No need to apologize. Don't worry. Okay, as long as you come in. Even those uh, from now on, even though you're not coming in, it just dropped me a message saying, I'm on my way, I'm late. Safety come first, huh? Safety come first, okay? Don't, go, don't worry. Or whatever reason, you know, after a while, you decided to stop my lesson because you got CCA competitions, you know, you got other subjects that's not strong, you know, uh, you need to push up, then you want to join later or you want to join whatever, it's okay. Main thing is that, okay, I'm here. Even though if you are not joining my class next time or whatever, you want to ask me anything, I'm willing to help you. Don't, don't feel bad, okay? So don't uh how she don't say oh I am I'm sorry I'm late it's okay it's okay this is not school are they you know you late for class uh, you get out of the class ah <laughs> uh, cannot cannot you know uh, what I'm sorry to mention about this uh, uh recess time uh, you know last few days one of my set three students uh, he told me uh, I want I won't mention any school hi how she um the teachers was um was kind of I find a bit maybe I'm not sure too much right now you know it, 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 they do homework uh, they did their homework. But because they forget to do maybe certain part of the homework, they were asked to get out of the classroom. Yeah. So now it's like, huh? Hey, well, you took homework, but I didn't do it. Maybe I will do the last one, right? I will not do it, right? I will not do it. Ask them to get out of the classroom. I told, I told him, uh, in fact, this is live recording. Uh, if any teachers would ask you to get out of the classroom, please don't be defiant. Talk to them nicely. My daddy, mommy pay taxes. For me to study here. Okay, don't ever say that my mommy daddy pay taxes for your salary. Yeah, don't say that. Huh? You say my mommy daddy pay taxes for me to study in the classroom. Get it? Different, huh? different analogy. And I don't think, unless uh, Rolling, you're so naughty in the class, you make a, a big hoo ha, you know, you scream, you shout, you beat people, you throw things, you make a lot of noise, then fair enough. Even you get out of the classroom, you are not supposed, in my opinion, to stand outside the classroom. This is called shaming you in front of the whole school, in my opinion. Okay? It's, it's not supposed to do that. You say, sorry. That, unless you say this, Hazel, okay? I know you and I will be brave. Don't be scared. Like. If touch you, like, some teacher will say to you, Hazel, get out of the classroom. You say, is this a school room or your room? So if Si An is a teacher, Mr. Lai is a teacher, don't Mr. Lai ask Raymond, to, Raymond, get out of the classroom. So I'll say, Mr. Lai, is this your room or the school room? If it's a school room, okay, you follow, correct, not, Hazel? But if it's your own room, huh? that means you override the school rules there. Eh? Wow, Mr. Lai, you become principal. Ah. Steady, boom, pee, pee. All right, Hazel. So be careful. Ah. Yeah, I know that it's getting tougher um, as the terms go along. <coughs> okay. So it is better that don't, don't get out of the classroom. You have the right to stay in the classroom to receive. So like this one, you know, uh, uh, Lord, eh? 
I student came in late during my class. It's only Mr. Shong, uh, I play basketball late. You know, the first thing, you know, they are sweating already. Then they come in, they're already distracting the class. You know what I asked them to do? I asked them to go to the toilet, wash up first, then come back. True enough, they have really lost a couple of minutes. Uh, right? But my, 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 my attitude is that because the way you put like that, it gives me, you see, uh, of course, sports and games benefit our health and fitness. You see, I like this sentence. Greatly. Okay, one more time. Of course, sports and games, don't mind I read on your behalf, uh, benefits our health and fitness greatly. We would also improve our coordination and balance. It's true, no? Uh, why, why I say that is true? Because it is some student really cannot hope a ball, uh, cannot hope it, uh, cannot just get the ball correctly. So what happens is that if they are late and they are willing to come to my class, even though they are late, uh, that means they are willing to want to learn. Right? So instead of perspiring, so you just ask them to wash up. So after that, once or twice, they know no idea. Some of them, they say, oh, sorry, Mr. Shaw. Actually, I uh, on time already, but I went to the uh, washroom the toilet to wash up, but there were a lot of people, so we take turns to come. I see. So once first time they don't know, I ask, I, I throw them out of the classroom, go to the toilet, and wash up. So eventually, this group of you, you know one of them, you know, like some of these friends of yours uh, or classmates of yours or schoolmate of yours are uh, standard one. Every time they play until they reset, dang, they still play, then oh my god, need to go to the classroom with you. Uh, so this confirm this few group one. But at least they want to come back to the classroom. But I know some teachers say, well, late, huh? why are you still like that? Then myself, since you're going to scold me, I don't come in the classroom. So you're depriving people from learning. So you're making the things as a sports. And so I, well, in future, any one of you who are writing this, huh? you're supposed to redefine your sentence and structures. Okay. Um, Jiraiya, that day you read the rich dad and poor dad, right, Jiraiya? Right? Remember about school is very stupid, right? That don't uh, uh don't allow you you, you realize that uh, really, school uh, is a place that you cannot make mistake. Uh. Correct. Uh. You make mistake. Uh. Class, uh, you see uh, this stupid Luoling uh, make all the mistakes, uh, you see, uh, so that's why it's loud, she's lousy. Very embarrassing, right? Like, Sorry, uh. right. It's only wow, class, you see, Luoling did very well for the whole class. Let's give you her crap. Then if you're so smart, huh? hey brother, Lolly, if you're so smart, then don't go to school with you. Uh. The purpose of going to school is to learn mistake, then improve. All right. Who the hell? Okay, class, can you raise up your hand? Who like to fail? Nobody wants to fail. All right. Sometimes there's three mistakes. Uh, write down, ready? Can you write down the three mistakes? Please write down. See, see, and so think three, three mistakes. First one is grave mistake. Hey, sir, if you type ready, can you uh, write ready? Can you write for the class? I'm lazy to write. Grave, you know, bring you to the grave. Bring you to the grave, huh? Grave mistake. Okay, today, grave, huh? You know what kind of mistake will bring you to the grave today? When you kill someone, correct, not? It's a mistake, correct? True, not? Or when you take drugs, when you carry drug, drug trafficking, today, right? When you kidnap someone, it's a mistake, man. The second one is the mistake that I don't think, and in fact, all of us will do us, uh, his, uh, Sing and Hao Shen, and Zan and Zhong Han. It's silly mistake. Zhonghan, I'm sorry, I guess you might feel very embarrassing if I say this. Zhonghan, uh, Xinyuan, Sian, Hao Shen, and Jiraiya, and Yi Bao, yes, Yi Bao. We all go to the toilet and pee, right? Huh? Sometimes you see some of your friends cannot stand there and pee properly. Huh? He will start and pee, anyhow, pee here, pee there. Huh? I don't love, huh? the girls also the same. Huh? I heard from my girls, huh? I don't go to the toilet. Huh? Sometimes they say they anyhow throw the pads. You know what I mean? Huh? Uh, you say, oh my goodness, there's a bin there to throw, right? Some even throw into the, the toilet bowl and flush. Huh? It's a very silly mistake, right? True now. Okay, don't love, huh? you, you, we are educated people, no. But we are doing silly mistake. Do you realize every now and then when you wake up, no? I tell you, no, they don't love. Huh? Yesterday, I was teaching one of my boys in the class. Huh? He just farted now, huh? damn super loud. When he farted, it's like, Ooh. it's like, Ooh. Oh my goodness, son, it's like, then he took at me, oops, I, my stomach is giving up some gases. Oh, very nice huh, for a P4 boy, okay? Then after a few minutes, he did that again. Woo again, <laughs> right? Do you think it's a silly mistake? The, the one you cannot control, what? True not. Don't tell me none of us, you may have P, man. Just in what situation you should have to right? Let's be honest. Is that a silly mistake, okay? Silly mistake that means sometimes you, it's like careless mistake, like, okay, sing it. You say, oh my God, 
I did this mad. Ah, yeah, I made a silly mistake. I should have not made this mistake. But sometimes this silly mistake uh, can be number three, Ready Hao Shen, and Zhong Hen and Sun is called intelligent mistake. Now, with this intelligent mistake, uh, that is where we have Albert Einstein, Thomas Edison, Lee Kuan Yew, okay, um, Joe Biden, Xi Jinping, yourself, and myself. True, not Zhong Hen. It's intelligent mistake. So you must put yourself, which mistake you want. The first one, grave mistake, how can is really go to the grave. Lah. Okay, I did a grave mistake in my life. Okay, that means it's irreversible. You cannot turn back the clock and take away. But silly mistake can slowly, surely, and definitely it's a thing to turn into an intelligent mistake. Yi Bao, I believe in your life, in my life also, Uncle Raymond, we make a lot of silly mistakes, right, Yi Bao? But how can we make this in that, uh, into an intelligent mistake? Through failure. So you see, uh, not only through this basketball thing or, or, or football during recess time or play, uh, the, during recess, uh, it's nothing wrong. No. I'd rather my, my student, uh, not only, to go and play games uh, than to play handphone. Uh. True not? Let's be honest. Let's be honest. Nothing wrong. Some, some of my, my students, uh, during my, when I was in school, uh, they don't have so much of this YouTube so much uh, at that time. But they'll still look at the handphone. Last time I got no TikTok. Uh, a few years ago, no have TikTok. So they look at Facebook. Okay? But and YouTube, which is nothing wrong. Okay. But if they are looking at the handphone and play games, uh, then I'd rather they play physical game. Play my rolling. Because your sentence, first sentence tells you to keep yourself flexible and connect. Connectivities must reflect. Ma. If my games is reflect, yeah, with two thumbs or two thumbs. But the game itself, your whole entire body is moving. So well done. Okay. So in conclusion, yes. Madam, Miss Ko. In conclusion, we should learn when to have fun and enjoy ourselves. But at the same time, we should study too. Smiley face. <laughs> <laughs> I, I like that, huh? seriously. Huh? I know if you put this in school, your teacher might think that why you, you, uh, no, you, you try to be funny. Huh? You try to be cute. Huh? Huh? You think you can put this in your exam? Huh? I tell you, huh? I, I, thought, I tell you, huh? Back in my times, I put all these things like you know. When I look at you like that, I say, Oh, then I put the last sentence, hard words never kills. You know, my teacher tell me, Raymond, why you put this for what? Uh? What are you trying to do? Uh? I say, uh, sir, I try, I, I don't try. I'm motivating myself to do better for history. Then he keep quiet. And that someone is a disciplined teacher, he's a very old teacher, but his history knowledge is what I tell you is damn super. That's why I love history because of him, one of my reasons. But the way it's like, hey, come on, you know, my generations are, uh, we don't believe in writing all these cute, cute things funny. They, they will think that you are, you are trying to be funny and uh, extraordinary. But I like that. Uh. But whether you can put in your exam, in your real exam, I don't know. But I would love it if, I, if I'm the real marker, I love it. No? You know why not? That means these students are, uh, is really enjoying writing this essay. Agree or not, Ronnie? Imagine, it, imagine the last few, few uh, things is blood. Uh. I will be scared. Of you know, blood. Like. That means, oh, this student must be writing with blood. Yo, on Yipao, nice pictures. You see, Yipao one so nice that I see you and you can't. <laughs> the background so nice. Okay. So what you mean by learn when to have fun? Like? We should learn when to have fun, is it? What does it mean, uh, uh, Lori? I don't understand what you mean. Like, know when is the right time to... Play and when no is the right time to study. And then you can say nah. Mm. Then which one is we should learn when to have fun. Oh, when you should learn, you should learn when to have fun. When when? So you must be more specific, Doma. We should learn when to have fun when we need to fun. So you, put, you must put this ready. Uh, in conclusions, there is a saying: all works and no play make rolling a dull girl. Think what's the cheap proverbs, ma? Ah, then you put there. All words and no play make Hazel a dull girl with the hair so messy. <laughs> okay, sorry. Don't get angry. The look at the eyes, you stare at me. It's like, mm, okay, uh, don't do that again. Uh, I tell you, I slap you. Uh. One more time, I say my hair messy. Which is messy. Okay, no. <laughs> okay, joke aside, joke aside. Uh, get it up, uh, rolling. So you can add into this. In conclusion, there is a saying all words and no play makes a, a jets a dull boy. Therefore, when we need to have fun, we will have fun. So play hard when you need to play hard. Okay, thank you. Next one.
Do you agree that extreme sports should be banned? I do agree that extreme sports should be banned. Wait, uh, I don't know why I put there see me. Like. Maybe it's there's... Wait, uh, I suddenly forgot I put, why I put there. Uh, because it was marked a while ago. I do agree. Oh, I do agree that sports should be banned. Okay. Uh, let, me, let me just read on before I, I recall what I want to put there. Carry on, extreme. Extreme sports bring great, great danger to our lives. It can cause injury to us. And in some serious cases, can even lead to death too. Sad face. <laughs> some examples of extreme sports include subsiding, bungee jumping, Oh, Includes what? Bob Siling, I think. Huh? What is this uh, word? A B S E I N. What is that? A B S E I N. Yeah. What is that? What, what sport is that? I, I I did not Google it. Sorry. What kind of sport is that? I also don't know. I I googled the example. Okay. Uh, somebody help me to Google these words and uh I I I I so miss out. No, sorry. Okay, sorry. Bungee jumping, carry on. Like rock climbing. Oh, ah. Oh, okay. Oh. Think, uh, yeah, yeah. That's true. Uh, so there's one guy who went to rock climbing. Uh, he, her arms, his arm was stuck in between two cliff of the mountain. And it's, it's a true story, huh? It's a, it's a, he stuck there for don't know two or three days. You know what he do? Okay, ready? He literally used the knife and cut his arm. <gasps> no, turn, no, turn. He literally cut his... It's, it's, you go and Google it. He mm -hmm. used his knife, excruciating, cut his entire arm just to let go of himself and move. Because he went to, I think it's in Australia. True story, yeah. He went to don't know rock climbing or sightseeing or don't know what adventures are. Okay, then then pop, he slipped down and then it just happened the right or left one stuck there, so he can't move. Okay, he just cannot move. He just I don't know how. Then end up he has to slowly. Well, ten years. Oh my god. Okay, <laughs> to carry on. Bungee jumping. Mountain bike, biking, mountaining, and many more. Uh, please do not put ETC, uh, especially for those in IP. I, I'm not sure because some teachers don't like to use ETC. If I say my, my, my books, my comprehension, whatever, put ETC there. How can I cannot? No, no, no. Don't put ETC. Uh, in, we, we, we do in Chinese like, uh, Mama minus uh, Sui uh, uh, I call this. Uh, these provide a sense of excitement to many. So these activities, these extreme sports activities. Ah, okay. Okay, can. Uh, these activities provide a sense of achievement, excitement to many, but some people really like. But some people really like this activity since they love doing a new challenge. Okay. Uh, there is this bicycle, uh, right? Remember the mountain biking? Uh? Uh, this is another true story. Uh. The bicycle stand in Takashima. Yeah, if you Google it, that was many years, uh, I think, before you were born. Uh. So I think they stopped already, you know, seriously. Uh, uh, Sing and, and Hao Shen, if you like cycling, uh, you know the BMX bike, uh, they do stand uh, in Takashima. Yeah. What happened? One of the stand went wrong. Uh. The whole stuck, uh, the, the, the BM bikes are pierced through his lung. I think pierced through his lung or heart. He died instantly in, in front of the whole big audience. And why I know that is because one of my good friend's son's friend. And that guy, I think, is the only child. Okay. And then after that, they stopped the entire uh, events permanently, I think. So uh, that was, uh, in, in fact, uh, he's a I think uh, that was a hard evil. That my generation, we like to play all these stunts, bicycle stunts. And true enough, a lot of them got themselves seriously injured. Some of them break their air, arms, their legs, their whatever. Okay, some even really uh, fracture their neck. Okay, so this uh, bicycle stunt is really quite dangerous. Just like a skateboard stunt. Uh. But then you ask me, uh, uh, well, like when you're doing this essay, you might think, hey, since they are so dangerous, uh, why they still want to do all these stunts? Number one, uh, to distress. I think it's very seriously to this friend. It's just like when I was young, after I, I finished my A-levels, okay, I distressed by smoking. Okay. Like a few days ago, um, I met some of my friends. Okay, uh, it was uh, they they offered me some secret, you know. I, I say no. Even uh, they was they were so stressed about their works. It's just, there's another book. 
asking for drinking, as you know. So now my distress is I like to watch TikTok uh, slowly to see people do all the funny stuff and got injured. <laughs> I know, I know. You might think, Uncle, you say this then. You know, these people ask for it. They know that this kind of thing is very dangerous. They do that stupid stuff. So uh, when I read your, this, marking uh, this essay, it reminds me of every night I watch the TikTok. Uh. Then I repeat one of those, seriously, you know, like, you don't, you don't. then my wife, yeah, because you say, oh my God, oh my God, you know, like, until my wife say, hey, you're watching what? You're always my God, my God. Then I show her, they say, you're being tired, you're always seeing her gate, it's very good. I said, it's very good. You don't have to do it, you just do it. You say, sorry, you know, you say, you know, you know, you know, Ask for it. Ah, because I was think, think I was that time. You know, 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 Nonetheless, these extreme sports could really hurt them. Who? The people who are doing the... Yeah, then you, then you say to hurt them. Who? Them. Because the them uh, is like the person who the person who plays the sport or the, the family member who see them play the sport and get hurt. Or like rolling, for example, yeah, my daughter, you boom. Ayo, you sing tong like that. You can't tell me, you can't tell me, you can't tell me, you can't tell me, you excuse me. Oh, maybe you're, I'm your uncle. Hey, girl, Nisa, you do this other thing. No, uncle, I feel shocked. Like, every time I break down, broke, uh, I fell, uh, I feel good. Like, I distress myself. Oh! <laughs> so, you get me? You might laugh, right? Hey, excuse me. There are still some people like that. I'm, I'm so sorry to say that um, they might do that out of distress. It's better than they go and kill someone and distress or, or bully someone. Okay, but this is called self-torturing, not nice, uh. You know, some people are so stressed until they cut their wrist. Okay? Seriously, uh, don't do that. Uh, until they cut you, oh, oh my goodness. Do you realize, uh, he's a, I got students that uh, cut until, uh, you know, they, 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 they don't have anything, but there will be a scar there. No? That means, uh, can you imagine, uh, he's a, I, I asked one, I asked this question, uh, one, this question to one of my girls, how she is about this thing. And what happened, uh, when you become mommy at that time, uh, and then your scar is still at the wrist, uh, how, one day your children ask you, mommy, what happened to your wrist? Huh? How are you going to explain to them? Wow, they were just like, uh, they were, uh, oh yeah, huh? you get me? Oh yeah, huh? how? Are you going to tell them, uh, mommy, last time when I was young, I stressed, I cut myself. So children, if next time you are stressed, huh, you'll be like mommy like that, huh? cut yourself. <laughs> that's the wrong, hey, that's the wrong message, huh? correct, huh? true. Huh? Right, so how? It's, you cannot, that, that's why we call silly mistake really. Agree? Okay? Uh, it's not a great mistake, huh? it's a silly mistake. It's not an intelligent mistake. It's definitely not a great mistake, but it can lead to great mistake. Carry on. Everyone has only one life to live. We should treasure our lives. We should treasure it. Or uh. oh, you become non-living thing. Uh. <laughs> the way you look at me, mm, okay, fine, uncle. You know, you, you no need to be so specific, right? <laughs> Joe, I don't take his heart, please. Okay. okay, we learn from here. You see, it's a mistake. Right? That is the purpose here. The more you write, children, I know you're going to have tons of homework coming in, a lot of CCA things. The more you write, it is by, by writing out, you're not supposed to write like that. No? It's a full essay. It's not a mixed essay. You need to have five paragraphs. It's not just one paragraph. Okay, but it's better than nothing. Ming Pai Ma, at least you, you get the, you're doing the so-called introductions or one or two paragraphs. By right, it's a full essay to explain to me the pros and cons of extreme sport. The pros and cons of um, sports and, and, and uh, games, is it bad, more important than study? Carry on, girl. If your loved one passed on due to extreme sports, we could be sad and even feel depressed. Right. Pass on, you see? Pass on what? Because you got injured. <laughs> That's the or, or, or watching, or you, I mean, the, the father and the son watching the extreme sport on, on YouTube, then die. <laughs> you can't be the most. Daddy, Daddy, it's supposed to be the most. Who can't extreme sport on YouTube? Who cannot take it? 
你看那个中人奔跑吧兄弟这样，快点啊，撕掉那个那个那个那个名字对吗？多老嘞，黑色。A few years ago, during COVID, right, we cannot go out, right. So at night we'll watch this Ben Pao Ba Xiong Di. So when we are eating in front of the TV, watching the Ben Pao Xiong Di, ah, we are I think eating McDonald's. Okay. Then suddenly my wife is so excited, she was screaming. Suddenly my daughter was drinking on me. The water spill out. It's just me. You see. I'm proud to say that before COVID, I was already watching. Nice, ah. Yeah. Like well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was watching for a very long time because my parents like watching, so I watch with them. Oh, say hi, hi to your parents. I love Ben Pao Ba Xiong Di, especially. Uh, I mean, I I don't like all the guys because their hair is lesser than me, lah. Hmm. Okay. <laughs> What's your problem, Si An? What's your problem, Si Ting? Hmm. Okay. Ah,、uh, definitely. I I if I go in, definitely everyone will just stand behind, call Bian Zhan, ah. Okay. Ah,、uh, yeah, Zhong Hen, thank you. Ah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I like Zhong Hen. The yeah, 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 yeah. Over my dead body, Uncle Raymond. You go there, and everyone will step like you. Ah,、uh. you're the first one. Your name that will be pair off. Ah, the good thing is, ah,、uh, I like to watch the scenery of the whole entire China. So every episode, there's the different things. Especially for one part, ah,、uh, I think ah, Zheng Chao, who whoever was singing, that is his, his grandfather fought the war in China. Was singing in the river, I think, in the Huang He there. It was so touching, ah,、uh, and it should show that how the 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 ancestors sacrificed for China, and of course, ah,、uh, learning Mandarin from from there, and also a、uh, good thing is about of course not Angela baby lah. Okay, I cannot say here lah because after that, ah,、uh, tonight I'll be sleeping in kitchen. <laughs> okay, let's go. We could even be traumatized by the sudden death of our loved ones. In short, we shouldn't let. Us have such extreme sports since it can deeply affect a person. Oh, uh, I thought N. Yeah.、Uh. I thought N. Okay. Oh.、Wait. Does it look like N or Er? Is it? You see, you see that Si An's eyes? Ma, he put his eyes get near to the screen already. Okay, not my fault. Ah, my fault. He's moving towards the screen already. Okay. So be careful, ha.、Huh? Be careful. It's affect. Uh, actually, I know it's a Er. Okay, but your the this pen ah、uh, the ink ah、uh, is maybe very thick ah,、uh. so maybe you can choose a pen that is not so thick. We shouldn't let us to have such extreme sport. What what I mean is a bit um not correct ah.、Uh. In short, I strongly believe that extreme sport should be banned because of our safety reason. I in short, I strongly believe that we should consider extreme sport to be have a certain limits. Something like that. In short, I strongly think that extreme sport is not for every one who have a weak heart to take it. Seriously, it's it's not for the weak heart. I mean, if you watch those um ghost movie ah、uh, or or those terrorist movie ah,、uh, I mean, I mean seriously, some cannot take it. There's some even ah、uh, die in the cinema heart attack. So be careful ah. Uh, so the structures of it. Okay, let's move on. Check a person's life. Yes. Okay, this one. Ah,、uh, that one. People are poorly, are poor largely due to their own fault. How far do you agree with this statement? I don't totally agree with that statement. Poverty and hunger can be caused by many reasons. Such reasons could be in inequality, conflicts, climate change, gender discrimination, and weak government and health. Systems. By the、How、way, sorry, I'm the top there. I'm sorry. By the way, all these are、uh, take note of children. Next year, when you are doing social study, I'm not sure about Zi Ting and Hao Xuan and Si An. Ah,、uh, but if you are doing social study next year, these are all a must to know, because we are talking about diversity and in a in a society that we live in. Okay. Um. Are we going to neglect certain income people, low income people? I think Xin Yan. I think you know, right? Ah.、Uh, We are. We, I'm talking to Gavin and all these people who are talking about.、It. Now you understand, ah.、Uh, I think it's good. Ah,、uh, sometimes you sit in, ah,、uh, to listen in the class is very helpful. See, please do so. Okay, it's very useful for you seriously because you will be one. No, not one step. You will be a few step ahead of those students, ah,、uh, or classmate or schoolmate in your school, ah.、Uh, that when you take SS next year, it's a compulsory for you anyway. See, that you know, like a lie long chi, my the whole entire that these things. So when you are doing this, ah,、uh, you realize, eh. 
I, I heard somewhere before, I learned somewhere before. So it's very important. Uh. All right, carry on. However, people can get into poverty because they gamble their... their... Okay, sorry. <laughs> they are, they are, actually, it's their gamble, their saving and... What, what, what did I put? Uh? They are saving <laughs> and, and their earning. Uh. I, I did not put their... They are oh. saving and their earning. Yes, they and they are earning that day. Okay, so okay. okay, one more time. However, people can get into poverty because they gamble away their saving and their salary. Okay, full stop. Okay. Or their hard-earned money. So oh, I think the three things is very excellent. Uh. When I say the three things, it's not the however that word. Uh. It's the, the excellence for the inequality, conflicts, climate change, and all these things. Uh. Climate change is also affecting poverty and hunger uh, because the government did not take into serious considerations about the pollutions, about the, 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 the environment. Because of that, uh, the, the harvest of the crops, uh, the weeds, uh, if you study geography, you know what I mean? Uh, the dry season, the droughts, the famines will cause a lot of people to die because they, you know, some countries like Africa and certain parts of India, or even not really China last time, yes, uh, they will have family and jobs and then you'll kill millions, a thousand and millions of people. Well, I cannot take it. Uh. So uh, remember, uh, because of this uh, hungry man, it's an angry man, what happened? They were revolt and riots and revolutions to change the whole entire government. So let's go. As a result, as a result, the money earned is all wasted and would be in huge debt and would be in a huge debt because of it. Because Sometimes, of what? I uh, see, because, because of, of the, the gambling. The, the, the property, it. right? Yeah. Sometimes the environment that we are living in also affects our well being. For example, if you are living in a country that doesn't pro promote fairness and education to all, it could affect the amount of money earned and status. Yeah, very good. The way you wrote here, very for example, if you are living in a country, you are very good. It's okay. So you give the explanations, right? Your elaborations, your descriptions. Yeah. Now, excuse me, give me an example like what? Like who? Like how? Where? Okay, like how? How? Example, give me an example. Living in a country, which country? What kind of country? Developed country, write down. Uh, developed country or developing country or underdeveloped country. Which one is the more serious? In fact, all countries, all these three types of countries are serious. Excuse me. Okay. So either under what's your problem? I can't speak like that, huh? Lisa? I'm so gentle, right? Cannot. Oh, you see? Thank you. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> all right, me. Thank you. Okay. Okay. So uh joke aside, this um what I want to say. Huh? Okay. Uh because when you say this type of country in poverty, uh, developed country, we did it last year, last month. Uh, country like Singapore is developed, US, England, still got people in poverty. Developing country like Vietnam, uh, uh, China considered developing in certain parts of the province. Uh, and then underdeveloped, you say know, Africa, Brazil, uh, Panama, eh, not, not Panama, uh, Bo Bolivia, okay, Central America. Yes, underdeveloped or Cambodia, the uh, underdeveloped property. So this is where you need to have the three. Because if you are not taking history next year, this three um, developed, sorry, one more time, underdeveloped, developing and developed countries will impact the poverty, the climate changes, the inequality, okay, even the most important, the health system. Okay, seriously, because of hygiene. Can you imagine... Uh, Rolling, I tell you, if you want to Google it, you can type the Gang Ganges River, the Indus Rivers, uh, India, like an Indus river. Like a river, by right, they call the Holy River. Uh. That means Holy River, just uh, a it's a mechanism to wait to the sea, Tong Liang, to wait blast, ma. all the sea will go off. Uh. Uh, like Uncle Raymond will jump into the, the river. Of course, not naked. Uh. I wear my bikini and jump inside. Okay. Why? I cannot be naked, ma. I, jump, I wear my bikini, I jump inside and bathe. Then later I see, how come got one pool of countdown and shit floating in front of me? Oh my God. <laughs> it's, uh, it's like, then I taste the water. Mm, how come the water very salty one? Uh? How come got that like urine stain? Oh my God. Then, for, 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 then suddenly you see a dead cow. Okay, then you see someone uh, uh, bathing there with all the body got some diseases. 
笑了代。Very sad 啊。其实 ，back in 1970 a s i n g a p o r e river was similar to be like that. I tell you. When my mom brought me to this、uh, Waterloo Street, ah,、uh, the Sima Lu Guan Yin Liao, ah,、uh, we have to bypass the bridge, ah.、Uh. Before I can reach the bridge, if I close my eye, I can smell. I can my nose can oh, 我要到了 You know, 比那个臭豆腐啊 ten times the smell so strong. Today you see the Clark Key and the Boat Key in in this Shenton Way area is so nice, ah.、Uh. Thanks to Mr. Lee Kuan Yew, who spent millions of dollars to clean up the whole entire river. It took him, I think, ten years to clean it up. So what are you telling me, Uncle Raymond? Because today you enjoy it. When you go to learning journey, you enjoy it. People look at us, a small country with limited resources. You can do it. You got a big country. You got so many resources, and yet you cannot take care of people, and you can't educate the people. Look at China, Huanghe and Yangzijiang, the two longest river in the world. Right, they even can put gunches and dance and all these things to to make it such a beautiful place. Why are、uh, both countries have the biggest, largest population in the world? Why they can do that? It's all drilled down. 只要有恒星，铁板磨成针 Okay, carry on. I、uh, I don't know how you're going to say this picture here. Okay, <laughs> let's go.、Mm-hmm. Sadly, there are still countries still. Still are in poverty, even though technology is advanced and there is increased job opportunities. Therefore, I think that being poor is largely not due to the person's fault. We shouldn't judge the、Ooh. poor. Yeah lah, la, correct lah. Just the government's your grandma and my grandma sitting by the fire. Ooh, ooh, ooh. <laughs> okay, carry on. Instead. We should do our best to help and provide basic needs to them, to the poor families. Yeah. No. Then what is this called? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what you're referring to. I'm very cute. I don't know. You say got smiley face and sad face. This is what happy face, cheer face. I complete my homework.、Mm. I tell you, ah,、uh, ah,、uh, this one, ah,、uh, is a very, very good example. I, I didn't, I don't, I don't mention anyone, ah.、Uh, Ah,、uh, this is a this is a country now they are facing this problem. Ah,、uh, the flag got many star one or something. Ah,、uh, I didn't say which country. Ah,、uh, the flag got many many star. Okay, you know what? Ah, this one I got one student say, oh China, which is not wrong. I hate is a. Then I say, I say no no no. The flag that has more than five star, correct? Ah,、uh? lucky you never say Singapore. Singapore also got many star.、Uh, correct? Is a you see not my fault. You see is a Zhong Han, Yi Bao. How shen, xin yan, the right year, true now. So I must say, a flag that is more than ten star. You know which country ah? The blue, white, and red stripe ah. Okay, I didn't say which country ah. I never mentioned. I say blue, white, and red stripe. You can find out ah. Okay, so it's true now. No ring. USA is a very developed country. Oh, oh my God! Why you point at me? You you're supposed to stop me. Oh gosh, I purposely can or not? <laughs> I think get very sick and tired of that country. Yeah, I I I my godmom is staying there. I have ex students who are working there. I have friends there in US. But get sick and tired of these governments who have done so much and destroy us in one way or another. Especially the way he interviewed the TikTok CEO. Okay, how? Can TikTok access my handphone? <laughs> It's the most <laughs> so funny question. Is that I'm not sure you watch the video, you know.、Um, that country is used to I totally respect, but I'm not saying the people there are bad, lah.、Uh, okay, I'm I'm talking about the people who rule the countries, and of course there's people who are very anti, uh, Asians people, who are very gullible will not see that. Right? Agree on how shit? You agree? How shit? Right? I think you are you and me go to to the US. I think how she less than one month. I think I will get beaten up. Recently, I heard、uh, some of the Asians are being beaten up in in this country in that country in US before. Okay, thank you so much for your your this essay. Ah,、uh, I leave it to you. Ah,、uh, Luo Ling. Ah,、uh, is a it, you're talking about the against it. You don't believe. What about the yes, the yes part which Ah、uh, Hazel mentioned. So this is where um. 
as time you see in Zoom, we got limited time, uh, but in a classroom face to face, we can draw on the table and you know in a whiteboard and discuss more. But this at least are uh, thanks to Hazel and Rolling. They share the essay with all of us here. Uh, I want to add something on. I know this is this one is a new topic. I want to add something on because it related to the new topic for this month as well. So I feel that um, property is not 100% to our fault. But sometimes we have to play our parts. Even like Singapore, you were so well developed. Uh, we are still as see people in poverty, right? Probably. Uh, Zonghen and Xinyuan. But why are these? Why some? I can use these four words, ma? Uh, that means um, a person who who yeah, buy to buy land, right? Yeah, so do buy to, right? So why are these? You know, there are people. You know, my mom say, oh, Singaporeans are very pampered. Very true. I think it's very over pampered. Really, you go back to Malaysia, ah, sometimes it's hard, right? They really work hard for it. They do for it. Singapore is like a lot of Karens, ah. You know what is Karens, ah? In US, they call Karen just like very power, bad power. Recently, got one auntie who threw the egg on the half boiled egg in front of the black dog. If you watch the TikTok, you know what I mean, or even mother's ships. I think it's wrong, seriously, right? So, uh, something wrong with the education if we are not doing the right things. So, partly the fault is got to do with cultures and the values that we inherited. You see, um, US used to be a very respectable country. No, their great grandfather fought so many wars just to give the word called liberty and freedoms. But today, the next these generations, us is really from getting from bad to worse. Not all of them, uh, I would say majority. I mean, some of them will understand, will know they are they really feel very embarrassed of that. So, Luo Ling, Si An, Xin Yuan, Hao Xuan, Yi Bao, Dryer, Zi Ting, Hazel, and Zhong Hen, you are the next generations of leaders of Singapore. All right. If you are not going to uphold these, uh, this called meritocracy and the, the way we do the equalities and reduce conflict and control the climate change, uh, you see, morning I'm using your this this part here. Really. And then we have no discriminations. Uh, well done. The next 50 years, Singapore will do it. I'm telling you, Singapore will never, cannot be ever forever on the top one. One day, Singapore will fall. And when you fall, it will be very badly. Maybe I'm loading, maybe your Sayonara. Maybe it's your great great grandson who screwed up the whole entire thing. Possible, or my, my great great grandson. You know why? Look at US, it's a very good example. It's a life example now. Look at British, right? True enough, Tonga. British used to colonize so many countries, huh? but so damn powerful. Oh, Sun, correct now. Suddenly, the dwarf came in. Huh? You know who is the dwarf, right? The Japanese. They are very short, no? And then they say, oh, these are dwarf people, I'm giant. And the dwarf people won the Russian during the war. So wait, Feng Shui don't you join out. They do a lot humble, eat humble pie. Then woman the that reputation will be more than that. Right. I have changed my concept. I told you, like, I hate communists. I really hate communists. Uh. But after looking things out, you say, I changed my perspective. China is no more considered like communist. It opened up. We need a communist power because China's got 1.4 billion people. Eh? India is not communist, but look at the democratic they run. More corrupted. The rich never come in to help. And they have caste system. Why? Do you know, but thanks to Luo Ling, I'm, li I'm linking to my today's topic. Eh? Because this today's topic is, I feel it's very, very important. In fact, every month the topics are important. Uh. <clears throat> what do you see? Uh? Is it 14? You see the lesson 14? Uh? Okay, correct. Uh. So we're talking about culture and passions. Okay, culture and passion. <coughs> so last week we did this homework, uh, this test, uh, this exam, Liverpool, that one, right? So I give you the answer with you, okay? Now, and then this magic words, you'll be there for a while uh, to give you to, to say, oh, I need to use the magic words. And trust me, if you start using all these, <coughs> I need some water. And if you know that these magic words uh, will help you in your situation writing as well as your essay, that's for sure. Tell me, uh, before I give you these magic words uh, and after giving you the magic words, you feel a bit different, right? Uh, 
I mean, you are there already. You, I mean, that means you are that kind of the caliber. Okay? Uh, you don't carry uh, gas or, or Gucci bag already. You are now more to Louis Vuitton already. <laughs> okay? And next will be Chanel. Uh, like, like Hazel. Hazel and Rolling, you are now like LV bag. Uh. No more uh, NPC auntie bag. Uh. Okay? Uh, now, uh, so now it's going for Chanel bag, uh, uh, expensive, uh, customized bag. Tell me, Rolling, this words uh, is so powerful. Uh, it, it can help you to, you, you see the way you, when you read it, it's uh. I can tell you, uh, not many, uh, uh, what do you call, in your school, uh, on the class, will you ask these words. So make use of it. And thanks to uh, Razor that day, you're asking me a few words here, right? Like paradox, correct? No? Uh, EKE, paradigm, she, for all these words, uh, very useful. Okay? There are more coming in, uh, there will be more coming in. Seriously, thanks. There will be more coming of all these. Uh, because this one, I'm going to emphasize a lot of situation writing and essay. Okay, and I think you all receive your student performance appraisal, right? Right? Okay. So I, I'm going to stop sending to you directly. Like, you no, know, today, uh, I have to spend at least 30 minutes to send to everyone because I made sure and check. So now, I will be sending direct to, unless you all agree, you don't mind uh, to send in the group chat. Uh. Because group chat will everyone will see your student performance appraisal. So I send it to individual. Okay. Okay. So just like uh uh Hazel, like Naka Pen Pao Ba Xiongti, you watch that now. You see how can you relate that? You realize that they do about culture and 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 fashion thing, right? They were then with some more anyway, woman sent it to eat. Don't mind saying mentoring first, I don't mind. Yeah, you know, woman say tie, huh? The Niman the Tsi 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 跟这个概念不一样了为什么呢就是打个比方说因为现在是变成西方文化或是我们的华人传统的文化那就是逐渐的慢慢的会消失掉那怎么办呢就是我们用这些奔跑吧就兄弟把我们所谓我们的祖先
I will always, I don't mind, I will always very particular with uh, Lu Han. Seriously, I'm not a gay, uh, please. Uh. Okay, <laughs> I will be very particular with Lu Han. Because he's not only handsome, he reflect me when I was young like him, like that, so handsome. Okay, okay, Zhong Han, stop it. Uh. I know you're going to do that. Oh my God, my, my glasses is going to crack. Son, lucky he's drinking after that. Like, if not, your water will spill out from his mouth. <laughs> okay. Uh, no, no, okay, joke aside, because uh, you know, Lu Han is a very talented uh, person, right? He can speak Korean. Lu Han was my favorite that time. Uh, you know, he, all the new, new ones. Because I thought he was very shy, and then I was very young at that time. No, but he's a very good person. Uh, my, my daughter and my wife also like it. That's why I'm a bit jealous. Huh? So I must join the fun. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Hey, is that the drink that you're drinking nice or not? Actually, I want to buy from 7 Eleven, but I, 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 I hesitate that it's too sweet. Don't buy from 7 Eleven, it's more expensive. You should buy from uh, your other shops. Is, what, what drink is that? Like tea? Uh, this one tea, correct, correct. I want to buy, no, I'm very tempted to buy, not because of the drink. I want like, the Yuzu version. Uh, I, I want to buy because of the shape of the bottle and the, you know, the logo, that the branding that attract me, you see. Uh, this is marketing and branding. Yeah. Okay, let's go for cash, uh, culture and fashions now. How is fashion related to culture? How Shen, would you mind to start off with a big bang with your beautiful and nice voice? Thank you, sir. Fashion can be conceptualized as something that is popular among a group of people. Whilst the culture is a, way of, is a way of life shared by a group of people, culture and fashion naturally overlap where fashion can be an expression of culture or a culture in and of itself. So you see, it's very true. Huh? So there will be these topics for sure. Huh? Okay, guys, your next two, three years in your study will definitely come across a comprehension passage or even an essay to write about fashion and culture. So now we're going to detail it in more uh, discussions for the next few lessons for this month. But we were going to separate it later on about culture and fashion. But now we put them together, integrate culture and fashions. Okay, so before I move on, can we ask one by one? Uh, so we give you, I give you some idea already, huh? okay? How Shen, since you read this, uh, what you, your own words, okay? Don't mind, how Shen, we are now doing your own reflection. Uh, don't mind, uh, must say something, uh, don't uh, 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 pass, uh, please, uh, don't pass. Uh. So you all got, everyone got a few seconds of, of, to say what you think about culture, fashions. Back to you, Haoxing. Okay, you think, uh, you think first, let me, okay, I'll give you a be fair since you're the first speaker. So Uncle Raymond's, my definitions of culture and fashion means they are integrated because this is true. Number one, history, right? The way the costume they wear, they reflect their culture, their value. Number one, that's reason, culture, fashion. Number two, culture fashions is can be like, you know, the chong sam, the qi pao, right? The qi pao now, we can use it like a fashion, like, like catwalks, and bring back the qi pao to, to show that it's possible to wear, but this is a new trend. That is number two. Number three, uh, culture and fashion is important because we want to carry on with our roots of identity. Okay, roots of identity, right? You realize every race, every religion has their own culture, their own fashions, right? So same here, we, I want to have the roots of identity. Back to you, Kao Shen. Right, we are still need some time to think. Huh? What do you say? Uh, I still need some time to think. See ya. <clears throat> the guys will go first, huh? Next, your, your turn will be Jiraiya and Yi Pao and Zhong Han and Sian will be last. Huh? Ting Han. Um. Don't Google it, please. Please do not Google it. Come to you. What The first thing come to your mind, please don't Google it. Huh? Don't, don't cheat. Huh? I will use the word cheat. Huh? Do not use Google and give me the answer. Huh? That is, doesn't show your own answer already. On your own words, go. Um, I need to answer that. How is fashion related to culture, right? No, no, no. It's just in your own, own words. Huh? How can culture and fashion integrate together? Um, so different culture has different fashion, I guess. Very so, good. Like, well done. So like um, 
um, Muslims and uh, Malays have like their um, Muslim. Mm -hmm. Muslim can be Malays and not be Malays, huh? Okay, Muslim wait, can wait, be Muslim. I mean Malay, sorry. Um, um, Malays have their own costume and, and, and Chinese also have, have their own individual one. Um, yeah. Is that, that's all? Yeah. Thank you. Yes, well done. Uh, who's done? Ipao, oh no, Jiraiya. Wait, the question is like the fashion relate to the no, culture. No, no. In your own in your own words, uh, in your own opinion, okay. What what do you understand by culture fashion? Culture and fashion. Mm. There's no right or wrong answer, huh? That means the first thing like, in your mind, huh? I feel like different cultures have different dressing. Mm -hmm. And it can correlate with fashion as well. Because like some people want to be like international inter international like way of dressing i guess wow beautiful we are talking about miss universe the miss universe pageant Mei, you realize how he said every time colombia brazil china right wow then raymond uncle raymond go singapore <laughs> everyone will run out of the stage uh, excuse me where is the audience <laughs> Can you imagine Uncle Raymond wearing bikini and say, Singapore? The next day I flew back from Singapore. Mr. Lee said, no, Raymond, you have to be embarrassed to be embarrassed to Singaporean. <laughs> Thanks, here. Well done. International. Hey, true, right? Okay, joke aside, you, you, you realize that huh? every Miss Pageant and Miss Universe, they will dress their, their traditional costume based on their country. Right? Of course, Japan's Korea, Okay, of course, when you come to Singapore, everyone will run away if, if Uncle Rima would come out. <laughs> Thank you, Dryer. That's a good one. Uh, who's next? Uh, you borrow your turn. Mm. Yes? Yes? Hello? Hello? Yes. Hey, hey. I can hear my I voice. I can hear my voice. Hello? Hello? <laughs> I'm here, I'm here. Yes? Ipao. Oh, I forgot the question. Huh? Culture and fashion. We have been talking about culture and fashion. What is your own opinions? What is your take about culture and fashion? Uh, culture and fashion is like to remind us what the past has like created. Mm -hmm. And like fashion is like how we express ourselves. Ah, I like that. Fashion is a way how we express ourselves through the, the type of culture, right? Hello? Yes? Hello? Yes. Thank you. Back to you, uh, Sungan. Uh, fashion is a part of cultural, like, like uh, there's different costume and like Singapore, we have the Nonya uh, dressing and different countries, different culture have their own like fashions, like China have their own uh Han Fu, and then um uh, other uh like the Western culture have their Western costumes, uh, and some of the Africans and something, uh they have their own uh type of costume, which is a part of cultural uh. Well, remind me of racial harmony day, huh? right, children? That every day you uh no, then you're gonna say that, huh? <laughs> Sorry, lo. your brother Tung Hen say already. <laughs> racial harmony day, huh? Okay, I, I know uh, racial harmony day is one of them, is to, to use a different costume. Uh, uh Rolly, I, I don't know, uh, I don't know about the three girls here uh, or the four girls here. Uh you know now so they got new fashion, no? Okay, to so think how uh Hazel and Rolly, you know what kind of fashion? The way the girls wear until the not enough clothes on, show off their belly, uh, wear their, their Leo tucks walking around on orchard roads, you know, on the streets. Uh, and then wear until the shirt, uh, like, like on top shoulder, but not enough clothes. Then the, the jeans are, I don't know. I don't know. Then my, 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 my daughters and, and my goddaughter will say, Daddy, Daddy, you are very old fashioned. This is a new fashion. 
okay, now win now, no? Then I ask them, what kind of culture is that? <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, it's definitely not Asian cultures. In my opinion, sorry, Alexa. You go and look up in any parts. These are not the Asian cultures. These are all the, I feel that it's the Western cultures. You look at those Grammy Awards and Academy Awards, those, those actors who dress until like that and go and collect. I'll go back to even how. Fashions, you're giving a wrong message. Sorry, uh, Asians have a very, very conservative and powerful. Thanks to Zhong Hen, you don't know that Han Fu Dui. Okay? It's very important. He said, you might think, oh, no, I, I also like to dress in the new fashion. Nothing wrong. You can dress what you want. Okay? Okay, I can dress my bikini and walk around if I want to. But don't laugh. Huh? But the thing is that, does it really reflect your own cultures? Are we that kind of cultures that belongs to the Westerners? Okay, there's a debate. Huh? Thanks to Zhong Hen, since you mentioned that. Okay, there's a thing a lot. Back to you, sir. But fashion can be what? Uh... Culture and fashion. Oh. Huh? Culture and fashion. Culture and fashion narrowly uh, over, uh, naturally overlap where fashion can be an expression of a uh, culture or a culture and or a culture in and of itself. Mm -hmm. Okay, then. That's all? Yeah. So a culture itself can be a different type of fashion. So fashion inside the culture can be what they think is their way of dressing, right? Yeah. Thank you. Uh, back to you, Hao Shen. Uh, actually, I feel like. <clears throat> well, first of all, fashion is fashion is already a major part of certain cultures. First of all, fashion is already a major part part of certain cultures, and true. thus, true, true, and, thus, and and some and some forms of fashion like, really really tell really tell a lot about certain cultures. Mm. And so. <clears throat> So in my opinion, fa fashion is fashion is just um fashion is just a way to express and convey the convey a convey a certain culture to other people who's who might view upon the fashion. Ah, okay, okay, okay. So it's like something to 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 kind of showcase them. This is the culture and through the way they dress, lah. Thank, yeah. thank you, sir. Okay, back to you today. Um, in my opinion, I think fashion can allow the people to express their culture more to like people of other countries. And with fashion, I think people can better convey their, their cultures and tradition, traditions to like other races. Wow, you remind me of all the leaders uh, in ASEAN uh, today. When the 10 country ASEAN leaders meet in a meeting, uh, they will dress accordingly to their culture, to their, their local uh, culture with their latest fashion. Maybe their batik dress, their, their, their different way of uh, the clothing, they put on the, the patterns on the clothes. Like maybe a, a, a Balinese, uh, Balinese dress or the heritage of Javanese or maybe the Vietnamese or, or the Laos or Cambodia. Or Thai, yeah, the Thai dressing, yes. So if those countries will visit Thai for their meeting, they will might be all the leaders might be dressed in a very Thai costume to welcome them. Yeah, thank you very much. How about Luo Ling? So to me, um, fashion is more about like if you want to see how they open up, right? So usually, um, during Chinese New Year, we us Chinese, we wear our tea pao to show our culture, right, and to show our identity. And then in Hari Raya, probably the Malays, they wear their own costumes. And then... And they, the whole family wear the same, huh? Usually they are the same color, huh? so yeah. they, Oh, this is a family, uh, Muhammad family, uh, 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 Ali family, or yes. Okay, carry yeah. on. So, and also in Singapore, right, we also have Asian ha Harmony and we also have National Day where we um, come oh, up yes. with, like our own 
identity. Yeah, like we wear our own um, tradition costume to show our identity and to share about our, our identity. So it's mostly about this identity. Ah, costume and fashion is all about identity right now. Very good. It's about identity. Well done. Thank you mm -hmm. very much. Any more, Noah? All right, Hazel, last but not least, Hazel, culture and fashions, what is your opinion? Uh, culture and fashions is related to one another because uh, like Rodney said, it's all about identity. Like, you know, the Koreans have something called a hanbok and the Chinese have something called a hanfu. So both of them are like traditional clothing of their culture. And it's very bad. And Japanese also got kimono. Yeah, I, I mean, yes. I call you almost the doctor model. But the thing about hanfu, <laughs> hanfu and hanbok is that a lot of people who who probably don't know Chinese or Korean culture well enough will confuse them for one another because and also Japanese kimono and the kanbo are they actually come from China. You know, right? They're all actually yeah, that, that, that's why they look kind of similar at the same time. What? That's why they're right. they actually a traditionally originally uh, original one uh, come from China, right? Okay. Oh, okay, enough. Enough. Okay, okay. Thanks. Enough. Okay, so right, uh yeah, that's the thing. So Although they may look similar and as what you said, they, they may originally come from China, they are still important for the Koreans or the Japanese who are wearing the kimonos to feel like a sense of their culture. Right now, a sense of belonging. Well done, man. Identity, yes. a sense of belonging. Well done. To so, showcase their individual individualism as their own culture and not like other cultures like all right especially when the uh, identity and sense of belonging which is very important because they want to preserve their culture through the costume they wear very true especially I said, you know in japan and korea they got this cha tao, right the tea ceremony right they will wear their traditional fashion okay true now they don't wear the t-shirts all these things are fair now yes very true thank you anymore Oh, I think that's about it. Yeah. Thank you so much. That means that all of you understand uh, culture and fashions like C C Xiang Guan or Zhong. They are linked to one another. So the next few lessons, we are going to talk more than more, more of that. Uh. All right. So how culture is reflection in fashions. Now let's go. Zan. Clothing habits tend to differ from place to place, as every culture has unique clothing styles attributes uh, third to it parallel uh, apparel, apparel can clothing. also reflect belief the beliefs custom values morals electronic mix, economics not electronics. economics art and technology of individuals and groups of people so what you all say just now uh, the, the eight of you say that nine of you will say that it's true uh, it's very important that what you have said is related to all these things thank you Next, uh, may I have uh, Xinyue? So I read the best. Culture can be. Oh, culture can be defined as all the ways of life, include arts, belief, and in. Including, my dear, when including you are all of you reading, uh, you, you are actually, I'm actually hearing your oral presentations, huh? Your oral, I think your, your oral essay is coming soon, right? Okay, let's go. Including arts, belief, and institution of a population that are passed down from, from generation to generation. Culture has been called the way of life for an entire society. As such, it includes codes of manners, dress, language, religion, rituals, art. Very true. Stop, huh? Very true. The last few words there are very true. The manner, dress, language, which is right, regions, arts, and the values and, and traditional style is very important because if you are writing this kind of essay, you have to bring out all these words there. And if you are reading a comprehension passage, you are going to know that these are the words that you're going to use later on in, like, in your summary, in your uh, answering the, your, your questions, your factual questions. 
or even in your situation right things, okay? Or even when you have a conversations or maybe a, a, a video to watch about culture, then you talk to your teachers. What have you learned from this video? So you can talk about this. This is very important because the number one is the religion that changed you. Okay, carry on, uh, sing it. The major element of culture are symbols, language, norms, values, and artifacts. What is a new def definition of culture? Okay, thank you. So it's symbols, language, uh, that shows the, uh, the artifact itself. So how do we know some of the, the, the what we call the race? Uh, thousand years ago, have been wiped out because of some earthquake or big natural disaster, then they are gone. But through the artifacts, we realize that how the Egypts the Egyptians uh, dress, the Egyptians are uh, using fashions to do their rituals or even their, their ceremony during certain events. So <clears throat> this is how. Okay, then you tell me, okay, so yeah, okay. La. So I know that culture, la, so why, 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 why must we know? Now it's already thousand years or few thousand years already. What can we do with this? Sometimes these type of things might show that these early civilizations, they already have these cultures there to promote their way of life, to showcase that they have a standard ways of living. That is why we also need to uphold and upkeep what we have. If not, if it's gone, extinct, no more, then we lost the roots. The key word is the roots. Is in every culture must have a roots. If these roots are gone, dry off and cut off and destroyed, the whole entire, like what you say, the way of life for an entire society is Sayur and Mara. Let's next the two paragraphs. May I have Tung Haran? <clears throat> Culture is the life life lifeblood of a no, virus. No, sorry, my dear, you did not read this one. Oh. Okay, sorry. Oh. Culture is an umbrella term which encompasses the social encompasses the social behavior, institution, and norms found in the human societies as well as knowledge, belief, arts, laws, costumes, Custom. capabilities, and habits of the individuals in this group. So you see, uh, cul the culture is a very big umbrella, encompasses of all these things here. So you see, that means fashion can be part of the culture. Fashion can be a big umbrella that cover the knowledge, belief, and arts. So it's like, can I use the word, after reading for more than 20 minutes, huh? You realize culture and fashion, they are like twins. They are twins or they are like husband and wife. They cannot separate them. It's just like you are wearing a, a pair of slippers, a shoe or sneakers. You cannot wear, unless, sorry, yeah, the person is uh, handicapped, uh, only one leg. Other than that, like wearing spectacle, wearing your trousers, it's like a pair. They are not, they are not, cannot be separable, inseparable. So they, they are supposed to be two together. Why? May I have, uh, <coughs> Ipao. You are back home ready, right? So you can read. Come. Okay. Mm, how much? Culture? Culture is the life part of a vibrant society expressed in the in the many ways we tell our stories, celebrate, remember the past, entertain ourselves, and imagine the future. Our creative expression helps define who we are and helps us to see the world through the eyes of others. Thank you. While you're reading this, uh, Yipao, you remind me of the China. <coughs> Zong, I think maybe are very good in China history. Uh. You know, there are five dynasty, five dynasty, uh, Tang, Song, Ye, Ming, Qing, right? Okay, the Tang dynasty, the Song dynasty. You realize the Naka Guan Ren, uh, Naka Guan, uh, they wear Naka Mao, right? Naka Guan Mao. Uh. You know the Tang Chao, the, the costume? So sometimes my wife watch those Chinese drama, Wu Dai, the ha. She will ask me, that is what Chao Dai? That is Song Chao or Ming Chao? Okay, we all know the Qing Chao, the Qing Dynasty, the last one Chao Dai, right? It's like a pigtail, right? They wear that hat, it's like that Jiangxi, right? That is Qing Dynasty, you realize that? That is very easy to see, because it has a pigtail. But the thing is, the most confusing is that Tang Chao, 跟宋朝还有明朝这三个朝啊，他们的帽子、他们的 costume 啊 ，is a bit different 啊。所以 when you see they wear the hat 啊 ，is like got two WiFi coming out <笑>。Okay， the Song Dynasty got two WiFi coming out。And then the Tang Chao 啊 ，their WiFi is like a fan
Then the Ming Cao one is another type of the, the, the antenna, the, the Guan Mao, you know, man. So this is like just now what um, Eva was reading. You see, we talk about the stories to tell, tell us story, how we remind and remember the past. So why is it important? You tell me the, the, the hat they wear, all these things, what is so important? Because you realize uh, through different dynasty uh, in China or even in, in India dynasty or Europe dynasty, uh, 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 um, uh, so Emperor uh, Napoleon or even the Tsars in Europe, you realize that fashions bring a story to say that fashion is always trending, fashion is always changing, and fashion is always there to give us a story to tell by making maybe some money, uh, making us uh, uh, in a history book and give us to, to, to be more creative. Thanks, Ifao. Today, first paragraph, please. Every individual living on this earth has an inner desire of looking good. This makes them feel confident in their social economic circle. When we talk about fashion, it, it instantly brings an image of glamour and style. People are taking fashion to the next level day by day. Every week is a new fashion week coming up with different looks, styles, and clothing. Okay, so you see, you see, fashion is like now without fashion, uh, this world is not vibrant. Without fashion, this world is very dead, very dull, very monotonous, very still, very boring. Next paragraph, may I dry it, please? Fashion plays a significant, significant role in the life of an individual as it expresses your inner self and makes it a symbol of status. Fashion is not just clothing. It includes a range, a range of things like ju jewelry, accessories, makeup, technology, gadgets, and much more. Whatever a person wears, it reflects his society, culture, religion, and profession. Well, it would not be wrong to say that fashion has actually changed the face of many countries. It is very important to see uh, what you have read, Jaya. It's not just about clothing. So we miss out. The jewelry they wear, the necklace, the earring, the makeup, the gadgets, the technology they use in the past. This is also part and parcel of fashion through the culture, right, huh, Jaya? Just like during the Egypt, they what they have during the, the Chinese dynasty, the, the Indian dynasty, you see, uh, even the Europe dynasty, the, the, the era, you know, the king and the knights, the way they dress, the knights, the, 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 the armor, the armor plates and things like that, the weapon they use, it's also part of it, no? Oh, well done. Okay, next, uh, may I have uh, Hazel? Indian fashion or fashion? Indian fashion. Indian fashion is vast due to its rich cultural heritage and thus it keeps on evolving. People in India wear clothes that are occasion specific. Marriage ceremonies exhibit great cultural fashion. Diwali, Holi, or any Diwali other. Diwali is actually called Dibabali. Eh? Okay, you know what? Uh, it's called Dibabali, but they call Diwali. Eh? They carry on. Or any other festival brings in a new fashion trend every year. So Indian fashion is exotic, even though even although, although. although there's some influence of Western culture can be seen in the parties. There are different fashion trends for different aged people. Teenagers have their own funky trends and adults seem to wear elite and designer clothes. Not only clothes, but there are also makeups and hairdos. Different makeups. Okay, different makeups and hairdos for different. You see, uh, you look at the way when you read this on Western culture, uh, first thing that comes to my mind is that because Indian was being colonized by the British, of course, la, then they will have a bit of rojia already, right? Mix uh, uh, with this. You realize that that means uh, if I'm an Indian, I'm very worried, you know, that means the younger generation will, will hybrid uh, with a bit of Western because they like kid, ma, maybe they are being educated by the West, so they change, uh, which is not wrong. Okay, it's good to have learned different languages, but when they start to hybrid, some older folks like me, I uh, say, I don't, I cannot accept. 
uh, girls who wear you know, the clothes uh, so uh, exposive, exposed. Sorry, I'm not him, okay? Of course, it's not like cover the whole head from head to toe, cannot see, only see the two eyes. Uh, that's too much, lah. okay? But this is, you see, that is why you see why there's a uh, terrorist against the Westerners. Because they realize that the Western is coming in to attack their cultures, their values, is slowly eroding, man man the the putian diao. So, pu kai. Ran de xiao, na xi xin de yi dai chen bu, si xiang bu yang, the thinking is different. So, I have to change. No, I better run away. So, I better get rid of them. Okay, thank you. I see the only more. Be a bit more. Okay, thank you. Okay. Next, may I have. Um, <coughs> as the attitude of people and culture is changing uh, fashion is also changing its face everyone has managed to follow a fashion trend according to their society uh, and uh, social atmosphere be it middle class people or high society people they follow the fashion trends that will make them feel accepted uh, in their societies the yeah it, the youth of today is a major follower of the new and evolving fashion trends. Bollywood and Hollywood both play a significant role in influencing the Indian fashion. You see, you, you see, you realize that it's not just the Hollywood, it's not just the Bollywood, it's also the Hollywood. And and because it's good that this Bollywood is now taking wave, it's just like the K-pop drama, K-pop, you know, the J-pop, and then the Chinese drama is coming in, the J. The Chinese or all, all the, 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 the dramas coming in to I'm so sorry. Uh, I think so far I, I realized that all the Chinese dramas are quite boring. Uh, because they, they, they have a reason to play those drama. But if you watch K-drama and K-movie, uh, they are not just violence, but sometimes they really bring a lot of um interesting plots and climax. And the way the dressing is different as well. <clears throat> so nevertheless, uh, we are looking in this uh, paragraph here to say that um, Fashion is not just for people to wear for the sake to show off, to create that kind of atmosphere to say, look, I belong to this and that. But it also can showcase not just to movie, but it can give that kind of influence effect. Meaning that people through these uh, movies or this, it's like a marketing tool. It's to promote so that maybe the whole world can start wearing this. I just realized there's this black pink, right? This group called black pink, correct me if I'm wrong, right? Is there a group called Blackpink in Korea? Anyone know? No, recently my friend told me uh, this Blackpink, the, all the fans went to be, buy Oreo pink cookies. You know that? It was so crazy, you know? You see, because of the way their fashion and all this, the way they dress, they, they get, you see, it's like also can consider a fashion. A fashion means not the way you dress. Like what uh, I think Eva was reading, right? It's not about fashions wearing clothing. It can be accessories and technologies. Right. Oh my goodness. This is your generation. Oh, excuse me, not mine. Oh, back to you. The last two paragraphs, Luolin, all yours. India is rich in culture and tradition, has different textile patterns and colors, where each state of India has its own exclusive costumes and traditional outfit. Tra traditional clothes are still worn in rural areas. However, urban areas are changing rapidly, being influenced by the internet and social media. Fashion has now become an in essential element of human life. It is the dream of every person to wear and flaunt their designer clothes. Fashion gives a level of satisfaction at, and exhibits your status in society. Write down these entire sentences into your notebook. Okay, let me read this one. India is rich in culture and tradition, has different textile patterns. So you see, the, it shows the vibrancy. It doesn't show that being racist. It, you know, they say, oh, Indians are dark, uh, so boring color. But because of their skins, okay, no racism, huh? they want to use another type of fashion and culture to showcase they are, they are very creative. Okay, their looks not as equally as good as to other races, which I agree. So their traditional clothes also have different reason for different rules, um, I'm sorry, different um, uh, ceremony purposes. Okay. And the most important things, all this happens because of internet and of course the social media that help them to do this. Now the last few sentences is very important. Fashion has now become an important 
a vital, a necessary element of human life. Fashion can also tell the status of everyone, like the dreams of everyone wear and flow in their designer clothes. Like for all of you, if you're wearing Louis Vuitton, Chanel, Gucci, or branded clothes, clothing like Calvin Klein, um, uh, Ralph Lauren polo t-shirts, or even those very um, Lacoste, or that kind of branded products, huh? you can feel that your status will be different, provided you are really from that rich status. But nothing wrong that even though we are normal status, but we are wearing expensive clothing, that makes us feel, number one, I'll write down, self-confidence. You wear branded goods. It's not just to show off children, or uh, Zhonghan and Zhe Ting, and Yi Bao, and Hao Xian, and Xin Yuan, and Si Lan, Hao Tazer, and Ruo Lin. We wear branded clothing not just only to show off, but to give us a sense of confidence. To give us that people, when they look at you, the clothing that you wear, the accessory, the handbag, that like Chanel, Louis Vuitton, you name it, huh? that you feel that, wow, this person is respectable. This person has good taste. This person is a um, person is forward trending, a very fashionable person. So you see, fashion gives a level of satisfaction as we are stated in society. Get it? With these three sentences, it kind of tells you that who you are. Now, guys, if all of you the, moving forward the next 15 years, which is around maybe 15 now, let's say you're 14, 29 to 30 years old, right? You are really dead and you are earning big monies. You are not going to wear. Okay, nothing wrong, uh, nothing wrong, sorry. Uh, nothing wrong to wear cheap sandals. But most of the time, people will wear branded shoes like Adidas, Nike, right? Uh, or, or, or Gucci, or, or, or Calvin Klein's um, shoes. But why can't you just wear normal shoes or uh, uh, Taobao, made in China, Why? I'm doing that, no? I even buy the not very expensive shoe. But you might say, no, uh, that's me. Uh, 我喜欢从我自己吗? 我赚钱这么辛苦, 很这么多压力, 我穿了这个鞋舒服吗? 很多人问, 你买这些淘宝的, 这些鞋还是 Lazada的鞋便宜, 可是穿过, it's true, uh, it's not very well. The way I wear is not nice, uh, compared to the one I have, the real uh, Puma shoe, uh, it's totally different. Uh, 一分钱, 一分货, we all know that. Right? But then again, why is branded good? If it's branded good, it's not important today. We can come up Hazel shoe, uh, RL's shirt, what is rolling, okay? Uh, ZHY uh, bag, uh, L LSA um, spectacle, uh, LXY uh, handbag, uh, HX um, tennis racket, uh, YB um, phone, uh, dryer um, underwear. More expensive, more well, good, huh? <laughs> Better than Calvin Klein underwear, huh? Uh, the quality very good, uh, right? Uh, and uh, thing, uh, maybe um, um, dress. Correct, uh? Why? Why must we have brands and branding and marketing? And because of that, slowly and surely, they will use it back to cultures. And this is what the next lesson we want to talk about it. Uh, um, uh, I can't give you the test now because it's already so late with me. But I would like you to do this little homework is that, uh, <coughs> this is your title. How is fashion related to culture? Which just now you talked about it. So what I want you to do this homework is write in 80 words and what you have said just now, put into words there so that it can help you in case, uh, children, in case there's this essay about culture things, uh, which is going to happen for the next three, four lessons for this month. So it's good to have start off with your good introductions and use these introductions for not only for Uncle Raymond's homework, but just save it up, keep up in the safe there. Then when you need these introductions, you can showcase it later on in your real exam in school. Okay, so how is fashion related to culture? So um, can you type this uh, rolling and put it in the group chat now? How is fashion related to culture? Put into our group chat, don't mind how uh not in text before I forgot. Because I need to reply a, a gents or WhatsApp to my boss later on. So yes. Okay, next next lesson we are going to have a food um um exam. Eh? Shall we stop with you? Stop with you. Okay. So guys, I hope uh last two, three months homeworks. If you need to still want to continue to submit to me, by all means submit to me. Okay. 
If not, then you do this. Uh, have you sent ready, Rolly? You sent ready? Typing. Ah, okay, thank you, thank you. You got the title, huh? Thank you, thank you. So this is only the own homework. I told you every lesson at homework. And the best are Siyan, Xinyuan, Haoxian, Yibao, Jiraiya, Hazel, Zhonghen, Ziting, and Nolin. Use the magic words to link it. Okay? All right. It will, it will definitely help you. Okay? Thanks. Okay? So I will see you next Wednesday for the exam. By right, supposed to give you the exam today, but because of thanks to Rolling essay, I think it's very fruitful on his uh and you agree, huh? Right? We 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 learned a lot from that the essay that she written on agree or dryer. Oh, so that's why you come in. So there's something new. Okay, different lessons or different things to learn. All right. Thank you so much, all of you.